Good evening everyone and welcome to Friday, December 8th. It's just got after 7 o'clock here. And I'm Shiana and I'm Barry Fair. Thank you for joining me this evening here in Unit 5 and joining me now in the studio is my offside and good evening. Good evening, Barry. Good evening, viewers. Hope everyone's had a nice day. And tonight on the program is all about summer safety in the community. And I'd like to talk about staying safe while you are out in the community. When you are out in the community, always carry a mobile phone. And why should you carry a mobile phone? So if anything happens to you, you can phone someone to let them know of your movements and what you are doing and so you and that you can arrange a meeting point. It's always very important to have enough credit so you can text the person and <laughs> give them your mobile number so that they can ring you. And now here's my offsider for his view on this. Yeah, it's an important message, Barry. If you're going out somewhere, take your mobile phone in case we need to contact you or in case you need to contact us back here or right. if you want to ring a taxi. And always make sure that your mobile phone is fully charged before you take it out anywhere. Because how can people contact you if your mobile phone is not charged? That's important to remember. And also has enough credit on there to make and, a phone call and or a text all, message. And always have enough credit to make a phone call or send a text message or leave a contact number where you are so that the staff can ring you. Another thing before you do set out on your outing is always let the staff know where you are going, when you are going and when you are expected to return because you can't just walk out of the house willy-nilly and not give the staff notice of where you are going and what you are doing because for all the staff know you may be stuck out in the community in the pouring rain, bogged in the mud somewhere. Another thing is not carrying large amounts of money with you because that could get lost or stolen and always carry a bum bag with you at all times and zip it up. Here's my offsider. Yep, good advice Barry. You need uh, some money on you but not too much. And always have enough money to pay for a cab, home or wherever. Don't to say to the cab driver, you haven't got any money because that is very embarrassing and very annoying and the driver will be short on cash. You can always pay when you get back to the house. And you can always pay when you get back to the house. Another thing, when you are out in the sun, in the community, always have a good quality sun cream, 50 plus sun cream is what we're advising you to use this summer, ladies and gentlemen. 
and always put it on before you go out, not after. And always have a good pair of sunglasses on you as well to change your eyes. Food wise. Always choose wisely as well out in the community and have something healthy like a Subway roll with salad on it rather than fried fish and chips because as it gets into the summer months like we are now, we are already in to the December and with two months of the searing summer to go, you will have to keep helping. And sickness can play a big role too. If you are not well, don't come to work or go out. Here's my offsider. Good idea, Barry. If you're sick, you're better off staying at home so you don't spread it around. And when you are at home and not out in the, the community, look after your health. Don't put it last. Put it first. That's very important. And I'm sure my outsider would agree on this very much. Yep. Make sure you wear a hat in summer, long sleeve shirts. And always have plenty of fluid with you, such as a refillable drink bottle, because the last thing you want to have happen is dehydration, and that is not good. If you can't get access to a drinking bottle, drop into a store and buy a bottle of water. If you have someone with you, ask them to unscrew the bottle and put a straw in it and then you'll be okay. And we all know that the community is fun, but it can be very dangerous. Please don't get into fights and try to win the beam because it can make the situation worse. It's best if the two parties sort out the problem themselves rather than other members of the public getting involved. And the very last thing on staying safe in the community, if you see something suspicious, ring the police. If you see any suspicious activity, call the police immediately. If you see someone unconscious, have someone with you so that you can go and call triple zero for an ambulance and tell ambulance where you are, the suburb and, and the address of where you are and here's my offsider. Yep, try and always remember where you are or where you're going so you can ring the police or the ambulance. Hopefully not the fire brigade. And not the fire brigade. Maybe the rescue helicopter will come. Maybe. <laughs> but staying safe out in the community, you must be very, 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 very careful. It doesn't matter how many times you think that you are safe, but there are a lot of pickpockets out there that will take anything. Your, your car keys, your wallet, your credit card, they'll just take anything that you leave lying around. And, and if, you, if you've had too much to drink, don't drive, don't be a fool, 
get a cab home or get someone that hasn't been drinking and he's my upsider now to give you his final view on this. Good advice, Barry. Don't drink and drive, even if you're in a wheelchair, especially if you're driving a car. And make sure you charge your battery up on your wheelchair before you go out, because you don't want to get stuck halfway home. And, or, and don't go into areas where you are likely to get bogged, like a soft grass like the one over here at the dog park where the fire brigade had to pull a client out of the, the out of the mud it was I think around midnight this this happened so please don't go into areas where you cannot get out. And it was only lucky they had a mobile phone they could contact someone, otherwise they would have had to stay there all night. And it was lucky that the fire brigade did come and rescue that person because otherwise they would have had to stay there all night. Well, that brings to an end our Friday night wrap on staying safe in the community. On next time's show, we'll be talking about when to call triple zero and when not to call triple zero during the holiday season because we all know that triple O is there to save the lives of you and uh, our special guest here in the studio and um, when should we bring triple zero only in an emergency and again my offsider to tell you this yep good advice to the viewers Barry don't waste the ambulance or police or ambulance or fire brigades time just with trivial things because they've got more important jobs to do and don't use an ambulance as a taxi because they are not a taxi service. So if you're going to be silly enough to tie up any of those emergency services throughout the Christmas and New Year period without, without hindering them or when you handed them sorry it could put someone else's life at risk and do not assault a paramedic they are there to help you and to give you the best treatment possible and don't damage an ambulance here is my offsider yep it's all public property Barry uh, try not to damage an ambulance or a police car or, or a fire vehicle or a Westpac rescue helicopter because these three services are there to save the life and that is our program the time is 20 past 7 here you've been watching staying safe in the community and we hope that you have a great summer and we look forward to your company on the next show but until then it's good night from me and my outsider and the special guests good night everybody <laughs>